Hey everyone, welcome back to another episode of Crypto Wisdom. In this episode, we are going to run through what are crypto wallets, how do you use them, what are the different types of wallets, and the most important thing that a lot of people are doing wrong. Especially, I got to know about this when the pre-sale of cred was happening for Jetstar project. I'll brief on how you can view your assets in multiple wallets without having the need to transfer them. Yes, if you are using Trust Wallet, you don't need to transfer your assets to MetaMask. view them on metamask or use metamask for yourself this is mr asklan crypto education this is my passion guys i'm not a financial advisor this is not financial advice this is purely done for educational purposes only so do go ahead and hit the like button and the subscribe button to my channel my personal goal is to reach a target of 1000 subscribers by the end of this year let's see if i'll be able to make it say around 860 is my subscriber count right now just another 140 required i see that there are a lot of views that are there for my channel but not many people subscribe it just a humble request to subscribe and support a fellow youtuber let's go ahead and begin today's episode now what exactly are crypto wallets i'll just run through a few questionnaires over here so we'll go one by one with that a crypto wallet is nothing but a, a place where you will be able to store your crypto assets completely like an account number where you have in a bank the same way you have an account number created on the blockchain whichever be the blockchain whether it's ethereum or BSC the wallet address remains the same so what are the types of wallets there are three types of as broadly as i can categorize i call them hot cold and hard wallets what are hot wallets basically all your applications of metamask trust or coinbase wallet or any other wallet application engine any of the wallet applications you want to take those are the wallet applications which we call as hot wallets why is it called a hot wallet because that's something that you will have to utilize as an application on your device be it a laptop or a computer or a phone or a tablet and uh, it's always on the live basis where it's connected to the internet and that's how it works now let's th- speak of cold wallets now cold wallets are those storage wallets where you do not need to access them and you need a separate application or a, or say they will be just on a physical form be it a paper we had paper wallets which were earlier initially given out you had a piece of paper which had the private key and a qr code using which you could access your wallet details uh, through any other application else you now have it has evolved to certain coins or other physical assets it can even be a toy per se right so you can even also have any physical item that can represent a cold storage wallet again this is dependent on certain manufacturers there are many service providers where uh, they give you certain minted coins or certain other properties physical properties per se and what those physical properties would have is a private key and a preloaded amount of crypto as per your choice or as per their offering for example take uh, the project of meals token they are coming out with their own cold storage wallets which are copper coins they are 100% pure copper coins which has a preloaded amount of certain crypto assets based on again certain combinations which uh, the third party uh, provider is offering right so that's how it is and certain areas where you can actually go ahead and load your own assets and probably tell them that this is what i want and you will have to pay a certain amount where that asset will be given to you those are cold wallets so that is something which is a physical item which does not uh, need to be connected to the blockchain or the internet through any means unless and until you want to access them and that is the safest way that you can actually store your crypto if in case you do not want to trade it and want to keep it for a long term the third one i want to categorize is a hard wallet now hard wallet is also kind of a hot wallet itself those are your ledgers or your uh, trezor wallets that you have uh, which are kind of a usb stick what it does is it doesn't uh, you know it actually preserves your assets on a physical device instead of a software and probably gives you an extra layer of security anyone uh, out there using your phone would be able to access your wallets as well since most of the applications right now use biometric or a pin code to access your software wallets however if you're storing it on a ledger or a trezor wallet which is a hard you uh, you know a hardware piece or a usb stick you would always have the fingerprint access and an additional layer of security added without which no transactions would be passed through so that's a Uh, advantage of having a hard wallet now let's move on to what is a seed phrase now a seed phrase is kind of a password that you utilize to access your wallet where do you use a seed phrase any time you want to set up a wallet you can either set up a new wallet which will create a new account number for you in the particular application 
through the apply application but still on the blockchain itself and or you can import your details through a seed phrase which we'll go in, we are going to discuss in the last level what are the uh, popular wallet apps as far as i have seen majority of users right now currently at least use coinbase wallet trust wallet and metamask and lately uh, as far as the recent survey that went through safe moon wallet also is becoming a little more popular and you have Saita mask also coming out which is also pretty much anticipated by the entire community so these are the uh, major wallet apps that people are using when it comes to hard wallets like i said ledgers treasures these are the two main companies which i am aware of now the main question here is how do you shift assets between wallets without transferring them this is something which a lot of people had issues with when the pre sale of cred was happening there were people who wanted to actually utilize metamask which would be much more easier than trust wallet on their system because trust wallet does not work on computers in this venture a lot of people started transferring whatever tokens that they had on trust wallet to metamask wallet now this step is most not necessary at all all you had to do is if you already had a wallet set up on metamask you could just note down the seed phrase for the, your metamask existing wallet that you have all you had to do delete the extension and then reload the extension during which time you can go ahead and select the option of importing your seed phrase now i'm going to show you the fresh setup on how you can actually go ahead and import your seed phrase what are the steps that you need to follow all you have to do is select get started once you install this extension you have two options here this will set you up with a new wallet entirely on the blockchain this here would give you access to go ahead and view all your assets which are there on your trust wallet now how is it even possible because like i told you your wallet is not stored in a specific application it is always on the blockchain and these applications be it trust wallet metamask safe moon even sitemask once it comes out all these applications are just like windows where you can view them so it's just a way that you can view your assets and if you do not even utilize any of these wallet applications you can directly jump down to bsc scan or ether scan just an example is what i will take here just go ahead and take any random wallet over here all right so once you click on this you can just come down to the specific wallet you can even use the search option over here with your wallet address once you have that you can see this button on the token count this is where you would be able to view all the details of the wallet whatever tokens are there in that specific wallet you would be able to see them over here and even if you have ethereum assets it will also show up over here as well now if you click on this expanded view you would be able to have a proper output of all the tokens that are part of that specific wallet so all you have to do is select import wallet once you select import wallet click on i agree and here is where you need to enter the seed phrase that you have for trust wallet now on trust wallet how do you get your seed phrase go to settings go to your details uh, privacy or advanced so once you have the 16 or 15 or 12 word whatever is the seed phrase that you have just go ahead and type the seed phrase over here with a space between each word and after which just give a password this password that you actually give is to access metamask wallet instead of every time typing your seed phrase it's just an application based access so you can just give a password any password which you want to give you can go ahead and give agree to terms and conditions and that's it once you click on import you would be able to see all your assets on your metamask wallet itself whatever you have on trust wallet you can see it in metamask now will it be a problem if i use trust wallet and metamask both absolutely not i use my trust wallet details on three other wallet applications one is metamask the other one is safe moon there are no absolute issues and that is how you can transfer assets between wallets without even having to actually go ahead and do a physical transfer right you can view them you can just access them only by using your seed phrase moving on to the next question like when should you transfer your crypto from one wallet to another this is very important because why is it that you want to transfer your wallet there is only one big reason that you have to go ahead and transfer your wallet assets or the crypto assets from one application or one wallet to another wallet by another wallet i mean not an application like trust wallet to metamask i mean a totally different wallet address over here right so in a case where there is a compromise or a hack or a lot of trash tokens that are there in your current wallet and you want to get rid of them you want not want to fall victim to a scam even by mistake and stuff that is when you decide to go ahead and transfer your assets from one wallet address to another wallet address be it which is created fresh from your side or 
you can go ahead and use any existing wallet that you already have created in the blockchain itself or the second reason especially when people do the transfer it would be from a hot wallet or a normal wallet or application to your hard wallets that is your ledgers or treasures for an additional layer of security if you want to keep them that is when you go ahead and transfer crypto unless and until that is not the scenario for you guys there is no need of transferring the cryptos from one wallet to another wallet like i said just use your seed phrase and you would be able to view your assets through any of the applications that are out there now moving on to the last question where can you view your wallet address and asset details like this is already something that i have also covered if you come down here into bsc scan now suppose you have taken a specific token or a project i'll just take jetstar for example you just go ahead and come to the contract address or the contract pay the token page ideally once you see the get to the token page come down to your holders this is where you need to search for your wallet address now when you go ahead and purchase a specific token you would know what is the to uh, token count that you hold in your wallet basis that you just need to scroll through these pages in case even if you go to the last page and you're not able to see your wallet it only gives you a result of just thousand all you need to do is click on csv export once you click on csv export there will be an excel sheet that will be downloaded to your desktop or computer uh, similar to excel sheets and application you can utilize that as well just open that and do a control f you would be able to see your wallet details over there because this csv export will contain all the details of holders the total count of 5600 if this is the count that we have the total count of 5600 will be that now there are a few glitches sometimes when you export the csv file you may or may not get the entire wallet address details nothing to worry all you need to do is refresh the page and try to export it once again so this is how you can actually view the wallet details on the blockchain and if in case even if you have ethereum assets on the same wallet address then you can also be seeing those assets as well over here so this is how you can actually use your crypto wallets this is how what are crypto wallets all about do let me know in the comment section below if you have any other queries any other questions regarding crypto wallets guys that's it for this video thank you so much for watching have fun take care and stay safe from scams